He was the first Republican to announce his candidacy in March, but has been practically invisible ever since. Mark Everson is being left out of debates and is non-existent in the polls. But despite the uphill battle for the GOP nomination, he's marching on with his campaign. This country was founded on the longest of odds against going up against the British Empire. So you've got to try. You do your best. I'm at peace with this effort. With experience in the Reagan and recent Bush administrations and service as an IRS commissioner, Everson's resume is impressive, but he continues to be overlooked by the national media. In a race seemingly centered around Donald Trump, Everson tells News 25 he's correctly predicted America wanted an atypical candidate and believes he fits that mold. I'm not a politician. I don't have uh, years of dealing with special interest groups or donors, so nobody owns me. Um, I'm my own man. I'm doing this because I think it's the right thing for the country. Some of Everson's platforms include tax reform and confronting the lawlessness of big banks. And as he continues working to spread his message throughout Iowa and New Hampshire, he has a good support system in his family here on the Gulf Coast. And his youngest son, Oliver, continues to encourage him to push forward. Everyone has points, will they? Well, they don't, well, they're not good, and Dad just, he's already had that, so I think if he keeps on going, he'll move up and everyone else will move down. Heeding the advice of a wise seven-year-old, Everson is hopeful in the coming months the candidate pool will thin and he'll be able to push to the forefront. The hope is that um, as some people stumble, and it's already happening, that the media and others will turn around and say, who's this guy, Everson? He, he actually is saying some interesting things. Let's give him a whirl. Everson says he's getting great feedback from the people of Iowa and New Hampshire who like his ideas and tell him to stay the course. And with that encouragement, this non-traditional candidate, currently an underdog, continues his push to become the next leader of the free world. Now, Everson will be back on the coast September 11th to cheer on the Shuckers in the postseason with his family and encourages the people of the coast to introduce themselves and see what he's about.